Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today my girlfriend is zombie has a wonderful surprise for us. Apparently my girlfriend is right outside waiting to move in which I think is awesome. Girlfriend, where are you? Ah, oh, there she is. She looks so beautiful. And I think she's gone ahead and brought her things with her. This is going to be so cool. She is going to absolutely love her house that is completely packed with everything you could ever need. Well, Mark, what do you want us to do today? I can see everyone is out to go ahead and say hi to her. This is going to be such an awesome day. Oh, Mark has given us a book. Let's go see what it says. Hello, Naveed. I am so excited for today. Your girlfriend is moving into our neighborhood and she has brought all her things with her. Make sure she doesn't bring any dangerous items, please. Mark, of course, that makes perfect sense because I don't want her to bring any dangerous spawners, which I have a feeling she always causes some problems like that. Girlfriend, I'm just going to check your stuff, okay? Just to make sure you have nothing that could kill us. Wait, she's got an emerald sword, some weird iron set, which I think is super cool, and then also some very unusual spawners. And one of them is Siren Head. But she has brought some great stuff like some energy drinks, as well as some health energy drinks, some Oreo cookies, and even a pumpkin cake or an Oreo cupcake. I'm going to take a few of these out, okay? Don't worry, I have everything inside the house that we could ever need. Well, let's go and spawn these items and get rid of them because my girlfriend and zombie thinks they're very dangerous. Girlfriend, I need your help today, okay? Once I spawn these monsters, I would need you to go ahead and kill them with me. I won't be able to do it by ourselves. Well, let's do this. It's going to be so fun today going ahead and killing Siren Head with my girlfriend. This is going to be such a hard challenge, especially because I don't think she's ever fought any of these monsters before. So guys, let's spawn Siren Head. There it is. Gosh, and my girlfriend is already trying to fight it. Wait, she's dead already. This is not good. Okay, I'm pretty much sure she will spawn back very soon. But I have a feeling because she didn't have any armor on, that's probably why she died super quick. But I'm really scared of Siren Head. He is so big and he's completely demolishing our world. But our girlfriend should have known how dangerous it was going to be. Especially because Siren Head kills everything. And I'm not really sure why she brought it as a spawner. Okay, let's wait for my girlfriend and she should be here at any moment. Girlfriend, where are you? Oh, here you are. Perfect. Okay, let's go and do this. Hopefully she's ready to go ahead and fight off an evil giant monster. This is going to be such a hard day. But I can see Siren Head is ready to die. So let's just keep on doing this. Come on, girlfriend. I need your help so much. Hopefully we should be able to do this together. Now I can see this time she looks a little bit better prepared. It seems like she's ready to go ahead and fight off all of these dangerous monsters. Thank you! You are awesome! And I can see her going ahead and trying her hardest. This is going to be so much better. But sadly, she does get killed very easy as well, which I think is going to be a great challenge for us. But once this is all over, I'll know she'll be ready for every single challenge that will pretty much put her place. Okay, let's keep on going. And I'm pretty scared that Siren Head is getting a little bit mad. He's making such weird sounds that I have a feeling it might destroy our whole neighborhood. Let's keep going. We're doing such a good job. Die, evil Siren Head, die. <laughs> ah, my girlfriend is doing such an awesome job. But sadly, I do think she might easily get killed again so we've got to keep on going but look she's taking so much more damage than last time which i think is crazy keep going come on we're so close right now i'm sure only a few more hits and siren head will be dead come on we can almost do this maybe i can take her to the dimension of siren head soon and we can kill off the evil boss siren head which is so much bigger and so much scarier okay let's keep going and we should be able to do this in no time almost there Come on, girlfriend, we've almost done this. We are doing such a good job together. Hopefully, we can go ahead and spawn these other spawners soon and go and kill them as well, which is going to be super fun. But look, she's actually getting wrecked. She's pretty much dying so much, and we're not taking any hits. But I'm really thankful we are able to go ahead and kill Siren Head together, so we've almost done it. Keep going. Come on, we are so close right now. I'm sure maybe another 10 hits and we should have Siren dead. Okay, my girlfriend is zombie right around there is actually pretty scared. He's kind of scared that Siren Head could easily destroy his house. Look, we are so close to it. Come on, let's go and do this. Yes, we've done it. You are awesome. I can't believe you've gone ahead and killed him pretty much by yourself. And look, I was wearing a full iron set and a whole emerald sword. You just had your fists. Okay, I think I'm ready to go ahead now and spawn the next few spawners, which is 
the crawler, which sounds really scary. Let's have a quick look. <gasps> Whoa, look at it. It's pretty much contaminating our world. This can't be good. Okay, I'm going to spawn the next one, and let's have a look to see what happens. Look, they're crawling ever closer to us and trying to take over our world, but I'm not going to let this happen. Come on, girlfriend, we've got this. And they are giving us some deprived mess, which is very unusual. But the sad news is, is that all these blocks will go ahead and spawn more siren heads if we don't get rid of them. Look, he's actually getting mad we're getting rid of these items. Okay, we've got to keep on going. Let's keep on doing this, and hopefully my girlfriend will go ahead and help us out. Huh, okay, we need to get rid of these items. They are well too dangerous. Mark, do you have a pickaxe we can have? These items are well too dangerous to have inside our world. We need to go ahead and get rid of them and make sure they don't contaminate the rest of our water. Okay, I'm going to spawn the last few monsters and let's go and do this. I'm going to spawn the creeper. <gasps> cool! Okay, he looks a little bit different to the last ones, but it seems like this guy could be as dangerous as the other ones. Look, there it goes! Oh, okay, we've done it. Perfect. Wait, there's another one. Keep going. And perfect. I told you guys where to go ahead and get rid of these evil blocks, which are very scary blocks. Hopefully, we should be able to do this in no time. But sadly, they do take forever to go ahead and get rid of, which I don't think is very good. Okay, let's do this. See, I told you, they're spawning ever so often now. But let's go ahead and spawn these other ones, and let's get rid of them. These guys are the evil creepers that will go ahead and pretty much ruin your whole world. Let's do this, and perfect. And I do also want to spawn the slugger. <gasps> Whoa, these guys look so dangerous. They are pretty much the siren head minions, which are so scary right now. And our girlfriend is always ready to go ahead and protect us. Do you know what, guys? My girlfriend is awesome. She's pretty much protecting us and saving our giant world. Okay, let's keep on going. Let's spawn the slugger again, and let's go and destroy this guy. Here we go, and perfect. My girlfriend is helping us out well too much. Whew, I wouldn't be able to do this without you. But sadly, guys, they are spawning more of these monsters. But what I'm going to do is probably hide inside a house and tell our zombie family to go ahead and hide away as well. Guys, let's do that for a few minutes and figure out what happens. I want to see if these sluggers will go ahead and die or if they'll keep on contaminating our world. This is going to be such a scary day. Guys, we've been hiding inside for a few minutes and I think something evil is going on outside. Look, there are so many of them and they've contaminated our world. Guys, don't panic. Stay inside. I'll try and figure something out. Maybe we can go ahead and spawn lava everywhere to go ahead and pretty much destroy everything. But I am pretty scared, so I'm going to go ahead and take out all these items our girlfriend has brought us from her, pretty much her old house. And hopefully we should be able to do this. Let me eat the Oreo cookie, and then let's do the pumpkin cake, which I'm going to put right here for everyone to share. Nope, right on top. And good. And let's go and do this. Hopefully we should be able to go ahead and destroy some of these guys. But look, they're actually quite dangerous this time. I have a feeling they're going ahead and trying to break their way in, which we won't let happen. Let's keep going. And perfect. Gosh, there are so many of them, and they're actually kind of scary. These guys are pretty much the minions of Siren Head, but sadly, our girlfriend did bring this from her evil location, which might be really bad. Maybe we should ask our girlfriend to go ahead and take the spawners back so we will never see these monsters ever again. Okay, this might be our only choice, guys, but sadly, they are literally everywhere. I have no way to go ahead and get rid of them. And as time goes on, they take over our world more and more, and things are getting very strange. Look, there's even some of them trying to make their way through all of our furniture, which is not good, guys. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and drink our health energy drink. And good. Come on, we need to regenerate more. This is not good. <laughs> Look, they're coming everywhere. It's pretty much a horde apocalypse right now. Baby zombie, don't come out here. These guys will eat you all up in one bite. Okay, let's drink up again. And now we have everything we could ever need. Keep going. And perfect. Thankfully, with that drink, we can go ahead and pretty much kill them all in one hit, which I think is awesome. So maybe we can keep our girlfriend as long as she brings us more of these drinks. Well, maybe now we have to go ahead and blow up our world because I don't see a way to go ahead and get rid of this evil virus. These monsters are absolutely everywhere. Quickly, guys, we've almost done it. It seems like these crazy monsters are destroying everything and they're taking over our world and we'll never get it ever back. 
We need to make sure nothing happens to us. But sadly, these guys are absolutely everywhere. Hopefully, we should be able to destroy them in no time. Okay, I'm going to make it back to our house and try and relax. And hopefully, we can destroy whoever's trying to get inside our house. Perfect and good. <laughs> what a crazy day. Mark, Marie, baby zombie, MC Naveen girlfriend. Don't go outside. That whole place is pretty much loaded with evil stuff. Hello guys and welcome back to Crazy Minecraft video where today our wonderful girlfriend has gone ahead and invited us for a wonderful challenge where it seems like there are some mutant creatures outside and they're trying to go ahead and demolish our structures so we need to go ahead and defend them and hopefully we can go ahead and keep our girlfriend safe so let's go and speak to her and let's go and see how we can help. Hello Naveed, we are so glad you have come to your house. We are really scared of the mutant creatures outside. We need you to defend the village against these evil monsters. Quickly, before more waves arrive. Wait, are you not going to help us? I have a feeling she wants us to go ahead, fight off these evil mutants, and survive without getting ourselves destroyed. Okay, this is not going to be good. And I'm pretty sure there are mutants everywhere, and they're trying to take over the village. So we're going to have to rush away as fast as we can, and hopefully we don't get caught up. Now, I can hear more mutants around, so I'm not really sure how we're going to go ahead and do this. But do you know what? Let me rush straight back into our house, and hopefully we can protect ourselves, and close off our whole house, and hopefully be safe. Let's Let's do this. Thankfully, we do have some really cool items. So let me go ahead and take out every single one before he goes ahead and kills us. This is not good. He's smashing his way through the glass. Maybe our girlfriend is hiding right around here because she knows we should be safe. Okay, I think we're right for now. He can go ahead and destroy everything if we aren't careful. So I'm going to go ahead and take out a few weapons. And perfect. Let's be really cautious and let's take out as many items as we can. And hopefully we can go ahead and defend the village and not get ourselves destroyed. And perfect. Well, now's a better time more than ever to make our way out and let's go and kill them. Wait, there are more. I knew it. So we're going to have to go ahead and do this. Let me put our mine right around there. And perfect. And hopefully we can go ahead and destroy them as fast as we can. Run, they're everywhere. Okay, let me try and go ahead and survive this. Ah, oh, this is going to be awful. And I think they might even go ahead and destroy our wonderful house. But thankfully, I think we've got enough items to go ahead and protect us. Okay, let's rush right around here. And perfect. Let's be really cautious of these fires. And hopefully we can go ahead and do this. It's going to work. Perfect. I think these mines are doing their best job ever. Whoa, there's so many of them. Okay, let's go and try and survive this. And they're getting really angry. I'm going to have to go ahead and put up some spikes as well. And hopefully we can go ahead and kill off the majority of them. And we're down to one of our last few things. Ah, gross. Let me go ahead and try and use these weapons as fast as we can. And if we aren't able to kill these guys, they will come back and demolish everything. Let me spawn four mutant snow golems, and hopefully we can do this. Golems, I need your help. We might be able to go ahead and finish off the little zombies, and maybe destroy the rest of them. Okay, I think we're doing a great job. Let me just collect all the little knowledge they're dropping for us, and hopefully we should be able to do this. Perfect. Let's make sure our snow golems aren't getting themselves killed. So we're going to have to go ahead and defend them as fast as we can. Perfect. I think we've almost done it. Come on. There we go. We are down to one of the last few. So let me try and finish them off as fast as we can and hopefully we should be able to survive this. Quickly. I think this is the last time this should stand up. And perfect. Oh, let's collect all their knowledge and we should be able to learn on how to kill them as fast as we can. This is so great. Snow Golems, you've done such a good job. But do you know what? For helping us out, I'm going to go in and actually take out a few more Golems. So let me spawn as many as I can as fast as we can before the next wave gets here. So I'm going to start off by building a wonderful Diamond Golem. And perfect. Let's build this one right by our house and hopefully it doesn't burn down. Girlfriend, get outside the house. It's going to burn down. This isn't going to be good. I might need to go ahead and stop these fires before they spread. Maybe I can spawn. Let's do an obsidian golem just in case this fire burns any faster. And perfect. There we go. And we can rush back around here and let's build our bookshelf one. I'm kind of hoping my girlfriend is going to be too scared of all of this. But hopefully we should be able to spawn all of these golems as fast as we can and not destroy anything. So far we've got an obsidian one, a bookshelf one, a glowstone one that looks so cool and even our bookshelf one has some cool glasses on he is definitely looking really smart well let's go see which other ones we have like our diamond one where i think maybe our golden friend would be perfect for him okay let me go ahead and do this as fast as we can 
And there we go. They both look really evil with their red eyes, but I think they should help us out. And let me just do a few more, and then we can head back to see if the next wave is right around the corner. And perfect! Another one that looks so cool and so yummy because he's made out of watermelon. But sadly, we can't eat him. Okay, let me build from a wonderful friend. Let me go in and do the sandstone one that looked pretty cool. And the final one is going to be our light blue wall. Here we go. Villagers, girlfriend, this is going to be so crazy. I can't wait to go ahead and figure out exactly what they look like. Let me just add the dirt right around there and hopefully we should be set. Okay, I might be able to rush back inside the house and take out a few more weapons. So, let's go and do this before the next wave gets here and hopefully we should be safe. Girlfriend, we've killed off the zombie mutants and hopefully now we can go ahead and do the next one. So, let me throw in all these items. And perfect. Let's just go ahead and make sure we're completely done. And let me take out a few more items that I think should be pretty cool once we can go ahead and test them out. So guys, let's close all of our doors. Let's make sure we're ready for the next wave, which is going to be some mutants. So I'm kind of scared of this. And there we go. Okay, let's get ourselves ready. Can you guys hear that? I think they're right outside. Okay, let's go and take a closer look. Yep, there's so many of them. And I think this time, they're mutant skeletons. Okay, let's rush around to the back of our house and hopefully we can get a better look. Yep, this isn't going to be good. There are so many of them absolutely everywhere. And they're trapping us right inside this little crater. Okay, let's go and see if we can get a better look now from the front. Okay, let me go and try and kill this lonely one as fast as we can. And maybe we can go ahead and do this. I am so glad our weapons are actually keeping us really safe. Perfect! There we go! One destroyed! So let's rush over and let's go see if our golems are doing alright. Well, I think sadly, so many of them have been destroyed. Whoa! Watch out! This isn't gonna be good! I'm kinda scared that we might be down to one of our last few golems. Girlfriend, don't go outside. It's really dangerous. Maybe we can survive this as fast as we can. So let me rush over. And perfect. Let me go and try and do this. And there we go. No! I can already see we've got our diamonds on the floor, which basically means they've gone ahead and killed our diamond golem. This isn't good. Okay, we're almost down to one of our last few weapons. No! This is so crazy! Okay, I am gonna have to take out some brand new items and hopefully we can do this. So let's just go in and test them out. I could use my Emerald Broadsword and hopefully take in a few hits. No! This isn't good! I don't think any of our Emerald items are actually doing a great job. Oh, but we did just kill one, which I guess is not that bad right now. Let's try and evade every single one of his attacks, and hopefully we can go ahead and destroy him before he eats us up with his ribs. Quickly, here we go. We should almost be done, and I think we've only got a few more hits, and we should be able to survive this. No! Okay, I guess I could use my alien blaster now. We did get quite a few hits. Girlfriend, don't worry. I think she's kind of scared that the last mutant might try and destroy us. But I'm not going to let that happen. Whoa, I think he almost evaded our attacks as well. There we go. I knew we could do it. Well, I think we have finished off that wave. Oh no, there's another one. Here we go. Let's go and use our bold action rifle to kill off the last few. <laughs> wow. We should have definitely have spawned more golems right now. And I did notice there's one more right around here. Nope, there's two more. Okay, let's be really cautious and maybe we can go ahead and fight him as fast as we can. Oh no, this isn't good. He's coming a lot closer right now. Let me just go and try and fight him and maybe we can save a few bullets with using some of our really cool weapons. Nope, I could do with my girlfriend helping us out right now, but I don't think she enjoys mutants. But you know what? Let me try and get my girlfriend out of here and hopefully we should be alright. Here we go, the last mutant. Ah, oh, this is so crazy right now. So let me go in and take out a few more of our weapons, which I think we're down to our last few. So we're going to have to save them up. Here we go. Let's go and try and kill off this final one. And perfect. Let's go and do this as fast as we can. And there we go. We've done it. Okay, I think now we can collect all their knowledge so we can learn how to kill them quicker and hopefully survive this if anything else happens. But I'm so glad right now we've finished off two waves. The mutant zombies and the mutant skeletons. But you know what, guys? Let me actually go ahead and check. I think we're doing alright for now. So let me actually build a few more structures around here that should be able to keep us very safe. I'm going to go in and build our first one right by Marie's house, which is going to be our wonderful watchtower. So let me build it right around here, and let's go ahead and check it. I'm perfect, and it fits in really well with our whole village theme. So let's rush up right to the top, and perfect, and now we can check to see if we've missed anything. Nope, I think we're all good, and I don't see any monsters around, so I think we should be safe.
Yep, Mark of Funny Zombie is going to be so proud of us. And we can actually make our way down and build a, some sort of mine shaft in case our whole world becomes a huge sort of disaster. So let me build it right around here. And perfect. We can make our way inside where it heads down right to the bottom. And we can go in and dig our way out. But sadly, there is no items we can go ahead and use. So I could just go in and do the final three structures, which is going to be our machinery tower. This will help us build some more wonderful golems and keep the whole village safe. And perfect. Let me go in and build it right around here, which I think is going to fit in perfectly. Every single one of these structures looks so awesome. And we can make our way up to the top and check to see if there's any Anything else on this side. Villagers! Mark off any zombie! Can anyone see anything? Nope, I think we're all clear for now. So I could just go ahead and jump down and build our last two structures. So let me go ahead and do, let's do our nether gate, which is going to be pretty cool. And I'm going to build this one right around here, which is another option in case we get fully ambushed. And there we go! Whoa! This is so cool! So this is one of the coolest structures that we have that should keep us very safe. And we can go ahead and light it and use it as a nether portal. See? This is so crazy! Let me go in and do the monster masher, which I think is going to be so insane as well. Let's go and see what this one looks like. Whoa! This is so insane! So it's got a few floors that I think monsters will go ahead and fall from. So if we turn the lamp on, it equals mobs. If we turn it off, it equals no mobs. Let's go and see. Ah! They're everywhere! So we could use this to go ahead and kill so many monsters all at once. But you know what? I might need to go ahead and leave this for now. Let's get out of here. Let's head back to our village. And let's go see if our girlfriend needs any more help. Girlfriend, are you doing okay? Okay, I think she's alright for now. So I guess we could go ahead and throw in all the items I won't be needing and just take out the final items. So I'm going to throw in all these items and perfect. Let's go in and check out to see if some of these sort of murder items can go ahead and scare off a few monsters. So let me put a zombie inside our stocks. And then inside our gibbet, I am going to throw in our zombie pigment corpse, which is so scary. Don't ask me how I got it. And let's also go in and do the gallows right around here. We, I'm going to throw in one of our skeletons that might scare off some of our mutants. And finally, we are down to one of our last sort of torture mechanisms, which is going to be our burning stake, where I'm going to go in and throw in some of our sort of husk golems. Well, let me take out the last few items. Let me go in and spawn our last few golems. And hopefully we should be able to do this. And I think the final wave should be right around the corner. Well, let me go in and do the golem head. And perfect with our packed ice one and awesome and then the last four golems that we have to go ahead and do is our end stone one and awesome and then our final two or three which is going to be our emerald one and perfect and then finally we've got our magma one and our blocks of quartz emerald you look so cool i guess he might be one of the fully protected ones and hopefully should last forever the villagers have spent so much money on that golem let me go in and do our magma one and awesome and i'm hoping it might melt some of this ice and keep us very safe so guys let's wait for the final wave of monsters and hopefully this should work i think i see a mutant creeper and he's trying to go ahead and figure out who's put up all those corpses okay let's go and see if we can actually kill off that one and hopefully this should work Oh, thank you, girlfriend. She did go ahead and tell us that we have some brand new weapons to try out. And I think I've also seen some mutant endermans. This isn't good. Whoa, there's so many of them. Okay, let's go and try and kill these guys off as fast as we can. But I don't think we're going to be able to survive this. Quickly, there's well too many of them. Whoa, this is insane. We are going to have to try and see if we can win this without dying too many times. And they destroyed our girlfriend. This isn't good. Okay, let's go and see if we can actually destroy some of these mutant endermans as well as these creepers run <laughs> okay they're about to blow us up right now and i don't think we're gonna win this i'm just so glad to see that some of our mutants are fighting each other but i can't see a thing i have no idea if we're killing friendlies or even actually slaying some of these mutants oh, our whole house is getting destroyed girlfriend i'm so glad you're back but i think they're actually winning right now here we go let's go see if we can do this and awesome Whoa! Let's try and rush around the front and maybe we can get in a few hits. Here we go. I think we've only got blindness for another three seconds. Let's go see if we can win. Ah! They're right at our front door! Okay. Golem! You're supposed to be helping us out right now. I think we might be able to go ahead and do this. But I'm so glad some of our golems are actually fighting off these mutants. Here we go. Let's go see if we can win this. 
I'm perfect. I think we're almost done. <laughs> Run! This is insane right now. Every single one of these mutants are trying to take over our world. And I'm so glad. I think we're winning. We have enough weapons to go ahead and keep our whole world safe. But you know what? We have lost our house, so at this point we might as well just kill everything with our grenade launcher. Where do you find them? Here we go. Let's go and see if we can win this. <laughs> wow! I think we've made it extremely mad. Okay, let's go and see if we can do this. I'm perfect. Here we go. I'm going to have to use some of our weapons, even if it destroys us. I think it should work. Can you guys see anything right now? Oh, I see a few more. Perfect. I think that's definitely taken a few hits. Yes, I think we've killed another one, but he is dying right in front of us. Ah, this is insane. Okay, are we doing all right? I could go ahead and use our final nuclear death ray to finish off the final one that I think might be around here somewhere. Can you guys see him? Aha, uh -huh, there he is. I think we should be able to do this. I'm perfect. Here we go. We must be so close. Even if it uses up our whole weapon, I'm sure we should win. Awesome, we've done it. Okay, I think we've only got one more. Here we go. Let's go and see if we can win. Now, we have got blindness for a few more seconds, so let's be really cautious. If you guys see the mutant, you've got to shout it out. I'm so glad we've killed off all our mutant creepers. Whoop, there he is. <laughs> he was right on top of us the whole time. Here we go. Nope, we're almost out. And I think we've used up all of our weapons. Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today, Marco Funny Zombie has gone ahead and messed up. He's gone ahead and sold a holiday to two girls and I think they aren't liking it very much. All he's done is given them an umbrella <laughs> and I think they're really mad. Yep, I can hear it. Mark, they're not happy whatsoever. We need to go ahead and make this the best holiday they've ever had. So Mark, how are we going to do it? Let's go ahead and read the book that Mark has given us and let's see what we can do today. Hello Naveed, I feel so bad. Some girls have paid me to go ahead and have a beach holiday but I have no clue what they might like. Can you help me make this a wonderful experience for the girls by the beach? Mark, of course, I would love to. I think they would enjoy that very much. So, let's go see what Mark has given us to go ahead and make this the best holiday ever. How much the girls have paid me for their trip? Hmm, let's go see what's inside. <gasps> Whoa! Mark, they paid you so much money. That is crazy. No wonder they aren't happy. I think they're expecting the best holiday they've ever had. So, let's go and do it. The house construction supplies. And so far, I'm going to take out everything and I'm going to make sure I use it all. Especially because they've paid Mark so much money. So guys, let's go and do this. I think this is going to be awesome. Well, the first item we have is the villager houses. Which I think is some sort of beach hut. So let's go and do this. So we have the flat roof. The angled roof, the fence roof, the blacksmith, or the longhouse. I'm going to do... Let's do this one. It has a wonderful area upstairs that you can go ahead and look out of. This is awesome. Girls, are you enjoying your holiday yet? Oops, nope, they're still mad. <laughs> okay, let's go and keep on helping them out and make this the best thing ever. Now, I did notice Mark gave us some palm trees. So what I want to do is go ahead and take those out... And let's go ahead and start planting palm trees everywhere. This has to be perfect. Yes, perfect. This is looking great. Now, so far, I do think this is not enough to make them very happy. So I want to keep on going and still make this the most wonderful holiday they've ever had. Perfect. Come on. We need palm trees. No. <laughs> How much bone meal do we have to use? Maybe it's because there's other stuff around. Okay, let's keep going around here. And perfect. Come on. There we go. And good. Let's keep on going because we still have three more to go and do. Perfect. Come on. And good. And then the final one right around here. There we go. Hopefully the girls now have enough shade to make them very happy. And I am going to place coconuts everywhere. So if they do get thirsty, they can just drink one of these coconuts and have such a wonderful time. I think this is awesome. Now Mark did give them an umbrella, but he gave them no chairs. So I want to give them a pink beach chair and perfect. And then I'm going to give them some beach floats. So I'm going to do one here and another one uh, right there. And I think they should be able to go ahead and use this and float around. See, <laughs> this is great. I think I would love this very much. But I do want to go ahead and keep on going. We still have so many more items to go and do. Let's put some uh, seashells everywhere and also some starfish right around here. And let me go ahead and get out the other beach chair. Let's put this one right there. Perfect. Okay, are they still mad? Yeah. Hmm, they sound a little bit less mad, but they still expect a lot more. Let me go ahead and put the other beach float right around here. And perfect. I think that's getting a lot better. 
Now, I did notice they have given us some tiki torches and also some sea turtles. So let's put one here and one there. And let's just keep on spawning them. I think this is going to be awesome. And then we've got some tiki torches, which I'm going to do right around here. And perfect. And let's keep on going because we still have so many more things to do. Mark, I think so far, this is getting a lot better. And I think they really like the beach house. It's looking great. And I do think these sea turtles add some wonderful things to the area. Well, guys, I think next up we should go ahead and test out some of these little snorkeling items. Let's take everything out. And perfect. And let's go and put on the yellow one and see what it does. Cool. <laughs> this is awesome. So we can actually go ahead and swim underwater and completely look around. Gosh, this is so fun. But I do think we need some air and also some other depth mechanisms. But definitely for these girls, this is exactly what they might need. Well, girls, what do you think so far? I'm going to give you guys these items and hopefully you enjoy them very much. There we go. And awesome. And perfect. Oh, where did they go? Girls! Oh, they're right around here. They've put on the snorkeling gear and they're going to try and go ahead and have a wonderful yes! time in the ocean. Just watch out for sharks. I'm not really sure if there's any about. Well, guys, let's go and check out the next chest that Mark has given us. Mark, so far, I think they're starting to like it. They're enjoying their snorkeling trip and everything. Well, let's keep on going. I'm going to put back all these items that I don't think they're going to use for now. And let's take out the beach luxuries. Cool. Okay, let's go and place these items and see if they'll love them very much. This should top everything off. So Mark has given us some more beach chairs that I'm going to put it right around here. Just in case they get bored of that area, they can sit around somewhere else. Perfect and good. And let's do a barbecue grill right by the beach. A cooler right for them and perfect. And then some more beach chairs right around the house. I think this is going to be a great idea. So if they want to go sun tanning, they can pretty much do this right at the back over here. This is perfect. There we go. And awesome. And let me go and do some beach chairs right around here. One. And let's do the other one right around here. Perfect. See, this is looking great. Now, I am hoping we did put some palm trees right next to each other. So let me do uh, one right here. And perfect. And then the other one right here. And let's see if there's enough. No, <laughs> we didn't put them close enough. I think we should have maybe moved them across. But that's supposed to be a wonderful hammock. But I do think they're having a wonderful time no matter what. Well, guys, let's go and put the sandcastle right around here. And good. Just in case they have families and they want to go ahead and bring them closer. And let's not forget, guys, we have some items to go ahead and make this even better. We have some soda bottles that I'm going to put right underneath the umbrella. Also, a creeper cola. And let's put the ice cream display right inside the house. I think this is going to be perfect. So let's make our way over. And good. Let's go right in here. And I might have to clear away some of these carpets to put the ice cream machine. So I've just got rid of all the carpets because it wasn't seeming to fit. Oh, there we go. So now we should be able to go ahead and put the carpets around. But it only seems to fit in certain areas. And let's not forget to go ahead and put a trash bin because we don't want any trash going inside the ocean. I'm going to put it right around here. Perfect. And let me just put the carpets right around just to keep this as beautiful as possible. And good. And let's go and finally do the modular boat. Here we go. Perfect. And then another pink one. And good. Here we go. Can we use them? No! <laughs> okay, maybe for some weird reason we can't use them ourselves. But for some reason, I think we were supposed to use them earlier. But I think maybe we placed them in the wrong position. Well, girls, what do you think so far? Yes! Yes, I think they love it. This is great. Well, Mark, I think we've done a better job. I think so far they've loved it so much. But do you know what? I know something that might top this off. We should go ahead and give them a refund because they've gone ahead and spent most of their time just sitting around waiting for me to go ahead and finish. So let me give them loads of this cash and let's give it right back to them. I think they're going to love this so much. Girls, we've decided to give you a full refund. Here we go. Enjoy all your money. Buy as much ice cream as you want. I think they're actually loving this so much. <laughs> Look how happy they're getting. Well, I think so far this is the best day ever. I can't believe it. Giving them back all their money, making a wonderful holiday for them, and giving them all the drinks and all the coconuts they could ever use. Well, let's just give back this last row of money, and then I think, hopefully, my girlfriend and zombie will be alright with this. Here we go. And perfect. Mark, what do you think? Was that the best idea ever? I think he's actually not minding it very much. He can go ahead and charge some better money to the next customers. 
Well, guys, I think this is the best holiday we could have ever have done. I'm a little bit sad that my girlfriend is on being messed up and didn't have anything ready. But I think so far, it turned out pretty decent. So, guys, I will see you soon with a crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, button is red, and don't forget to post notifications bell. So, guys, I'll see you all soon. Peace out. Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy minecraft video where today the villagers have gone ahead and invited us to figure out why all of our old girlfriends have come to visit. We literally have every single one. We got our slime girlfriend, our ender dragon girlfriend, as well as loads of different types, as well as our bunny one. But I have a feeling every single one of them are here for a reason. So let's go and speak to the villager and let's go and see how we can help. Hello Naveed, all your girlfriends are here in our village, trying to move in, but we have no space for them. We have decided to add them to our neighborhood by building some house spawners. Find them all a house. Wait, are you trying to say you've built them some brand new houses? That's gonna be so fun, and I guess they'll love us even more. Well, let's head inside the blacksmith and let's go and take out a few of these spawners. Oh, so we have these items as our structure spawners. So I'm gonna take out every single one of them, and perfect. And then we can also take out these very unusual hearts. Oh, I think they work instantly. So as soon as you touch them, they'll go ahead and give you loads of hearts and will pretty much last forever. This is so great. And we can also take out all of these spawners, which I'm guessing are girl spawners. So let's go and head out and let's go and do this. Villagers, I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and spawn all of these structures and we can see exactly what they look like. But guys, don't forget that the majority of you guys aren't subscribed yet, so go down below and press the red subscribe button along with the notifications bell, and that way you'll never miss another video again. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the honeydew structure, so let me go and spawn it right around here. Did it work? Wait, I think it did! It's gone ahead and spawned a giant tree with a honeycomb right at the top. But I have no idea how to get up there. I have a feeling we're probably going to have to climb up and make our way up there. And then we can go ahead and spawn. I'm pretty sure we must have some sort of honeybee. Okay, let's go and do this. Well, sadly, I haven't been able to find any other bees, which I'm guessing it must all be up to us to go ahead and do this. So let me make my way down and let's go ahead and spawn these along with these other bees, which look basically like wool. Okay, let's make our way down and perfect. And let's go spawn it right inside. Cool! This looks pretty awesome! Let me go and spawn it right around here. And there we go! We now have a honeybee structure for a wonderful honeybee girl, which I think is going to be pretty cool. But sadly, we can't actually trade her for anything, which is kind of a shame. But she does look really awesome. I guess we should go ahead and leave her bee now and pretty much make her way out and go and spawn the rest of them. This is going to be pretty awesome! So, let me make my way down and let's go ahead and do this feather one and this is going to be pretty cool. I think I'm ready for this. I'm going to go ahead and spawn it just a fair distance away from the tree, which I'm going to do... Let's do it right around here. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. I think it's worked. It's taking our feather. And there we go. It's been built. <laughs> this is so great. Okay, let's make our way through, through these very unusual broken doors. And hopefully we should be able to do this. This is exactly what happens when you go ahead and build an instant house. Things sometimes don't work. Well, it's got a wonderful swimming pool, a wonderful dining area. And if you make your way up to the top, we have a little spooky bedroom. Which I'm actually going to go ahead and spawn the nine tails right around here. Here we go. Let's go and do the next girl. I'm perfect. Wait. Ah, it's trying to fight us. <laughs> okay, that can't be good. I have a feeling that's why it is inside glass. So when it goes ahead and shoots its fireballs, it won't be able to attack anyone. Is she still angry? Yep, she is. <laughs> okay, I guess we have to go ahead and probably jump inside the pool later as well. Oh, what a crazy day. Well, we've spawned two so far, but we still have about eight more to go ahead and do. Or is it seven? So let me just go ahead and do the toadstone slightly closer to the village this time, just in case we need some help. Well, let me go ahead and spawn it right around here. And you guys ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Whoop. And let's go and see what it's built. Oh, it's built a swamp house. So I have a feeling this is exactly what the villagers were expecting. So we've got a little house right around here, which is pretty cute. But for some reason, it's just a 
basically an outdoor toilet. And if you head right around here, we do have the main house where I think you should be able to get in over here. Perfect. Let's go make our way in and let's go and spawn our toad, which I'm guessing should be another girl. You guys are going to have so much fun with this one. We can literally head up to the second floor and spawn it. Whoa! Wait! <laughs> it's a toad girl! Okay, let's go and get a closer look. All I want to do is go ahead and have a closer look at it. So let's go and see. Yep, there it is. <laughs> it looks so ugly, but it has got us in a corner and has basically instantly poisoned us. Wait, I don't think we can hit it. Ah. Oh. Well, maybe we have no chance now but to go ahead and continue. Villager, are you taking care of all the other girls? I have a feeling all the other villagers are super excited to finally have some girls in the village. Look at them all. But we still have them all very peaceful, not doing anything. And look, they're talking. <laughs> Let's go and build some more houses. Let me go and spawn our very unusual iron axe house. And let's go and see what this one does. I'm going to spawn it closer to these hills away from the village. I have a feeling this might be something dangerous. So so let me go and spawn it right around here. I'm pretty certain the fourth one should be around here somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. So it's built a very nice looking wooden cabin. I have a feeling this has something to do with our hunter one. Okay, let's go and have a closer look. Thankfully, this one has everything you could ever need. A kitchen, a little TV area. And if we head up right to the top, we have a little space where we can go ahead and spawn it. Let's go and do the hunter one right around here. And let's hope it's friendly. Look, it has a sword and an arrow. And it goes ahead and changes whenever it wants and looks super scary it's helmet is made out of a skeleton's jaw okay i have a feeling maybe this one is one that we don't want to be too close to but thankfully she isn't trying to attack us which means we haven't done anything wrong to her whatsoever and i think that's great news because i think usually they'll probably try and kill us okay let me go and spawn the mushroom one and let's keep on going i have a feeling we're going to have so many different types of spawners to still do and all the village is going to be happy once we find some structures for them so let me go and spawn the mushroom one right around here. It's going to be pretty decent. And I can't wait to see what it looks like. And let's go see if it spawned. Yep, it did. Okay, but the great news is, is that it's way bigger than all the other ones put together. But sadly, I do think that means we're going to have to go ahead and have a look at a lot of things. So as you go ahead and enter, we have the swimming pool right to the left, which I think our Matongo spawner is going to enjoy this so much. And we've got so many sunbathing beds, as well as heading inside, there is a ready-made cake. See, this is going to be so great. We've got the kitchen, everything you could ever need, and if you head around the house it's got so much space that i think matongo is gonna love this so much and even an upstairs area let me go ahead and spawn matongo right around here let's go have a quick look wait it's a mushroom one and it's instantly giving us nausea no <laughs> this is awful i hate it so much when we spawn a wonderful house and it always ends up to be a very dangerous girl oh okay that was such a waste of time villagers you're not gonna believe it some of these girls could eventually become dangerous so we have to be really cautious but i have a feeling the slime one you can actually trade it for some very cool items well, let's not give up now because we've only got four more to go ahead and do. So let me go and spawn the leather one at another distance. Just in case these turn out to be really dangerous. Imagine if we spawn all of these girls and they end up killing our villagers. That would be the saddest thing ever. Let me go and spawn the leather one right around here. Anything? Oh, it's gone ahead and spawned another modern house. This looks so great. But I think we should go ahead and look at it how it's supposed to be viewed. So if you go right inside here, this is the entrance, I'm pretty sure. And I think this might actually be a back door now that I think about it. Yep, I'm pretty sure it is. Ah, here's the entrance. So you can walk in, you can go ahead and look around, and you've got every room possible. I think there could even be an upstairs where you can go ahead and build so many cooler things. And I'm pretty Pretty sure some of these items actually work let's go and see if this works anything nope <laughs> i'm pretty sure as we go around we should be able to find things that actually work because as of right now every single house has had so many levers and so many redstone items that i don't think certain things work well i think this one we have to go ahead and spawn the sentinel so let me head right inside let's go ahead right in here and let's go and spawn it cool it's a girl horse <laughs> 
<laughs> and it looks so great, but I can see it's slightly balding. Okay, let's go look around and let's go see if she'll like this. Maybe we should have spawned her outside. I don't think she can actually get out. Let's go and open this door for her and maybe we can start breaking things away. And then slowly by slowly she can make her way out and pretty much enjoy herself. I wonder if she actually eats grass. Well, I think she's fitting in perfectly. So let's get out of here as fast as we can. And let's go and spawn the last three. Which we have the cobweb. Let me go and spawn it right around here. I think it's going to be pretty decent. And it's definitely worked. <laughs> Wait, is this a spider? Okay, I have a feeling this one actually has no house inside. I have no idea how anything could fit. Let's go and have a closer look. Uh, I'm pretty sure this should be empty inside. Oh no, there is some space. Okay, let's go ahead and spawn Arachne, which I think is going to be the spider girl. Let's go and spawn her. Ah, there it is. <laughs> okay, and it's gone ahead and is definitely trying to kill us. And she is spawning spider webs absolutely everywhere. Huh, I am so glad we spawned her far away from the village. There is no chance to pr probably make its way back. Now, I can see the ender girl is probably looking for a few blocks. So let's go and give her a few of these walls we've gotten. And hopefully, slowly by slowly, she can make her own house with it. There we go. Okay, hopefully this can work out. Ender girl, you have so much work to do to build a house. Okay, let's go and do the final two closer to the village. And then we go and spawn the sand structure right around here. It's actually going to be pretty decent. I have no idea what I'm expecting for this one. But I think it has something to do with some sort of pyramid. Okay, let's head around. Let's take out our last two girl spawners. And let's go and do this as fast as we can. The villagers are going to be so excited. Oh, here it is. I thought we would actually have to climb a lot. Okay, let's jump over. I'm perfect. Let's make our way up and let's go and see if we can actually head inside. Nope. Um, is this not how you get inside? <laughs> Maybe we're not looking around hard enough. Okay, let me actually head to the top and let's go and break our way through. Wait, there is things in there. Okay, I wonder if we can actually do this. Somehow there has to be an entrance around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. I think I found it. So we have to go ahead. Press this, and it should work? Or is there another one on this side we have to go ahead and do? Oh, here we go. Yes, we've done it. <laughs> this is so great. Now we can enter the pyramid and look around and pretty much spawn our Sphinx, I think it is. Let's go and spawn it right around here. Cool. This fits in perfectly. Wait, no. <laughs> okay, we need to definitely go and close that door. Um, or should we just go and spawn the final one and maybe they can fight against each other? Let me go and spawn the chiseled sandstone and hopefully we can go ahead and do this as fast as we can. Villagers, beware. The Sphinx is really dangerous. Let me go and spawn the sandstone one right around here. I'm hoping that this final mummy one is going to be friendly as well. So we spawn the structure, and I think this is some sort of sandstone house that fits in perfectly with the whole area. This is actually really awesome. Okay, let's go and have a closer look, and let's go and see if we can find anything. Hello? Does anyone already live here? Okay, I think we can actually spawn this mummy one right inside, and I think it should look really awesome. Look, she's got toilet paper absolutely everywhere. <laughs> And she looks so great. Okay, I wonder if we can actually go ahead and train her. I have a feeling that maybe she can get used to the pyramid and enjoy it. Nope, she's definitely not friendly whatsoever. <laughs> ah, and she burns in the daylight. Okay, let's jump inside the water ourselves and let's go and save her. I think this is going to be the best way. Well, guys, I'm so excited that we've gone ahead and spawned so many structures and saved so many of our girlfriends. And hopefully now, slowly by slowly, they can start to love us. So, guys, I wish you soon another crazy Minecraft video. Video. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press the notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out. Don't forget you can go ahead and buy Mark the Plushie in the description down below. Hello guys and welcome back to the Crazy Minecraft video. I'm MC Navid and today I'm going to be showing you guys something really crazy. But before we get started, I do want to give a shout out to JJ and also Enric for being members of this wonderful channel. If you want to be a member as well, get a shout out. All you got to do is get the join button right below this video. Well guys, let's get started. Mark, my friend and Zombie and Marie have gone ahead and invited me to their wonderful house. Where I'm not really sure what's going on. Mark, what's going on today? And why does baby zombie look so sad? Is everything okay? Hello, Naveed. Marie and I were talking and we were thinking, don't you want your own family? Mark, I thought you guys were my family. I love you guys so much. And I even love Baby Zombie. Rawr! 
Baby zombie, oh, I love you too. You are awesome. Well, guys, let's get started. Mark, why are you bringing up a family? Too late, we have asked five girls to come over and speak with you and to see if any of them could possibly be your girlfriend. Get to know them and give them a chance. Wait, you've done that without my permission? Guys, Mark, my friendly zombie, has gone ahead and called five girls over to my house and he's told me I have to choose one to be my girlfriend. But Mark, what happens if I choose none of them? Oh, I guess that's fine then. Guys, if I don't choose any, they will all leave my house. Marie, was this your idea too? I can't wait to meet them all and have a girl to hang out with. Hmm, I guess Marie's right. Guys, Marie hasn't had anyone to hang out with in such a long time because she only hangs out with boys. Mark is a boy, I'm a boy, and so is Baby Zombie. So I'm guessing it would be kind of cool to have another girl around for Marie. Well guys, let's go meet these girls and hopefully one of them is actually reasonably nice. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous. I haven't really had a girlfriend inside Minecraft in so long. Well guys, let's do this. Hello, I'm coming in. Gosh, you guys are everywhere. <laughs> She's sitting on top of my chest. Then we've got this girl right here standing on top of my ladder. Hey, 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 you're not allowed upstairs, okay? That's my bedroom. You all have to stay down here. We have this girl on the floor playing with my rug. And then we have two girls right here watching some awesome TV. Gosh, how did you guys get in? I thought I locked my door. Well, for that reason, I'm going to buy an iron door and I'll have a key for my own self. And I won't give it to any of my friendly zombies. Well, I guess I have no choice but to go ahead and meet these people. Let's meet the ones on the sofa first. Hello, how are you guys? I'm MC Naveed. What are your names? Becca says, I love going on walks and doing challenges. Gosh, me too. I hate going to dangerous places and pets. Wait, you don't like dogs or cats? And you don't like dangerous adventures? Gosh, you are out of here. Go on, get out. You can never be my girlfriend. Hello, what's your name? Demi says, I love building and doing gardening. Gosh, so do I. And I hate foraging and heights. Hmm, I guess that's okay. I don't really like heights myself because I get really scared I'm going to fall down and die. Well, let's meet the rest of them. Hello, what's your name? Becky says, I love pink and orange. I hate blue and green. Wait, so she loves orange? I'm mostly orange, but she says she hates green and also blue. Mark, what color are you? Wait a second. Guys, Mark my friendly zombie is actually a little bit green and also blue. So if she hates those colors, she can never be my friend. Because Mark my friendly zombie is only those colors. Well, I guess that Becky girl has to get out of here and she'll never be able to be my girlfriend ever again. Well, there's only two more girls. Hello, what's your name? You've got very beautiful eyes. I love everything and I hate eating. Huh? Chelsea, you hate eating? I love eating so much. I think I've stored up quite a few foods in here. So I'm going to get out some cooked pork chops, also some cooked fish, some cookies, and also golden apple. Look, I love eating so much. Even when I'm not hungry, I'm still eating. Gosh, this is going to be crazy. Well, guys, let's do this. Let's go and speak to the next girl. Lucina says, I love pets and zombies. I hate dangerous zombies and skeletons. Wait. I am exactly the same. I love my friendly zombie, but I also hate dangerous zombies and dangerous skeletons. I think we are going to be a great match. Well, guys, whoever I've said no to, please leave my house and hopefully I'll never see you again. Mark! Mark! I've gone ahead and chosen a couple girls. It was actually kind of nice and I really enjoyed it. But so many of them were really strange. Some of them even said they hated zombies, which I could not like. And some of them even hated your colors, green and also blue. Marie, I'm so sorry, but I've told a few of them to leave because they weren't actually really nice people. And Baby Zombie agrees with me. Am I right? Rah! Good. I'm so glad Baby Zombie thinks the same. Baby Zombie, would you like to have like a friend with you as well? Or would you prefer just being by ourselves and playing so many dangerous games? I thought so. Guys, let's go see if these girls have left my house and hopefully we'll find out which one is going to be my girlfriend. I think I've told them all to go ahead and wait outside my house, which I think they're all doing. Hello, guys. Okay, for the next challenge, I have one question. What would you guys do if I went on a dangerous challenge and I died? Gosh, what would you guys do? Go on, guys. Think about it, and then I'll ask you. So, Lucina, what would you think? I would keep the house. What? You would keep my house if I died? You wouldn't even cry? Huh. Okay, let me ask you. If you ever do die, can I keep your diamonds and emeralds? Gosh, none of these guys care if I would die. What about you? Would you care, Chelsea? I would cry all day and all night till you respawn back. 
Oh, that is so cute. Guys, I think I found my girlfriend. Chelsea is the best girl ever. Mark, Marie, I think I've chosen a girlfriend. Chelsea is really nice, and she would actually cry her eyes out all day and all night if I died on a dangerous mission. Mark, what do you think? Do you think this is a good idea? <sighs> Good, perfect. Well guys, let's go tell the rest of the girls to leave and then I can go ahead and actually hang out with Chelsea. Well, I actually have some wonderful gifts for Chelsea because I kind of knew something like this would eventually happen. Chelsea, stay right here, okay? Don't go inside my house, I have a wonderful gift for you. So I'm gonna keep all my food and I've actually got loads of flowers for Chelsea. I hope she kind of likes a few of them. I don't know. I don't know what type of girl she is, so I don't know what her favorite color is, so I don't know anything. Chelsea, ready? When I say three, Two, one, you turn your back, okay? I've got a wonderful surprise. Three, two, one, here we go! There, these are all gonna be yours. All these flowers, and you can expect this every single day. Aww. And I think I have one more sunflower. There you go, enjoy. Now, I'm a little bit scared to ask this, but will you kiss me? Guys, I'm gonna go and kiss her. Oh, I'm really nervous. Here we go, guys. Oh, gross! <laughs> I kissed a girl! That is disgusting! Guys, that was the first girl I've ever kissed. Oh, do you know what? I was really nervous. Aww. Mark! Marie! I've kissed her! I think it was so strange, but I see you guys kissing all the time, so I thought, why not? Baby zombie, what do you think? <laughs> yep, it was kind of gross. Never kiss anyone. Baby zombie... Oh, that... What?! Did I have superpowers?! Baby zombie is about to tell you something really awesome, but it seems like whenever I put my bum on the floor, I would actually, I don't know, I can't seem to figure it out. Something definitely exploded. Mark, what's going on? Is this the power of love? Hmm, it's really strange. Well, I have a feeling this is going to be a very weird day. One thing I can't wait to do is actually introduce her to my zombie family. So, let me get rid of all these dirt blocks, and perfect, and let me tell her the great news. Chelsea, are you ready to go meet my zombie family? I hate zombies! Gross! Wait! What do you mean you hate zombies? I thought you knew I had a zombie family! I thought those were the people that actually invited you here. Chelsea, if you hate zombies, I don't think it's gonna work out. That's my zombie family over there. We've got Baby Zombie, Mark my friend is zombie, and also Marie. I'm so sorry Chelsea, but maybe it's best if you leave. So, you will never be allowed inside my house ever again. I'm so sorry, but I thought you would know. Wait! Guys! Chelsea's getting really mad. She's hitting me. I'm so sorry, Chelsea, but I thought you would have known. No! Stop it, Chelsea. If not, I'm gonna have to hurt you back. Guys, Chelsea's trying to kill me and keep my house. I knew she was like this. Okay, let me try and get rid of her. Look how mad she's getting. Gosh. Okay, I'm so glad me and Chelsea just didn't work out. Well, guys, hopefully Mark, my friend, zombie, and Marie can now just still be my family because I don't want them to think I'm dating someone that hates zombies. Gosh, that was crazy. Hopefully Chelsea will now spawn back in her own house and we can actually be peaceful all again. Gosh, did she take all my flowers? Okay, I think she's taking everything. Mark, Marie, that was it. I'm never dating another girl ever again inside Minecraft. That was the craziest experience I've ever had. Baby zombie, how are you? Gosh, I think he's liking the swimming. Mark, Marie, I appreciate so much you trying to help me get a girlfriend and also my own family, but I have a feeling that's it. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a giant thumbs up and also subscribe down below if the button is red. And don't forget to press the notifications bell. And also, don't forget to comment down below which one was the prettiest girl. I have a feeling Chelsea was actually the prettiest. I thought she was gorgeous. Well, guys, I will see you soon another crazy Minecraft video. And as Mark, my friendly zombie, would say, Rah! which means peace out. So guys, I'll see you soon in another crazy Minecraft video. Peace out. Don't forget, you can go ahead and buy Mark the Plushie in the description down below.